<laughs> so guys, we're going to go ahead and break down our favorite comic books of the week. But before we do, let's get into this week's nerd news. So guys, this week we saw the third and not final trailer for Captain Marvel. It was uh, it launched on one of these sports contests that uh, Monday night. Uh, Ryan, that's really more your cup of tea. Come on, man. Apparently there was a sports contest and they decided to get all the nerds who were watching the game into Captain Marvel. It's our third trailer for Captain Marvel. Uh, Ryan, they said there's going to be a fourth trailer. This is not the final trailer for Captain Marvel. What do you think? I mean, do we need a fourth trailer for Captain Marvel? The question here is, why? Why are you showing me any more of this movie? You've already delved into everything. Now you get the, you get the quips back and forth. It's like a comedy that gives away the jokes. You don't need it anymore. Yeah. I, everybody who's going to see this movie has already signed up, said, yep, I'm going to go see it the weekend it comes out or the weekend after. I've already got my ticket. I'm sure everybody else here mm-hmm. does as well. I just don't understand this marketing blitz. There are other movies even that they could be pushing by <laughs> right? now. Yeah, yeah. I think it, it, it's, it's a trend going on in Hollywood where they have to put out trailers eight months in advance and they have to show you 10 trailers. Don't get me wrong. I love the trailers. I love all the trailers I've seen for Captain Marvel. I don't necessarily see the need for a fourth trailer during the Super Bowl. Um, but hey, that's just kind of my opinion. Uh, Shauna, they also dropped three new posters yes. for Captain Marvel. Three gorgeous posters. You saw the posters for Captain Marvel. I love them. They look straight out of the 80s, too. They look like... They do. They got a really cool kind of retro feel to them. Um, Absolutely gorgeous. They don't look like uh, the typical Marvel poster. Mm -mm. You know, they they look nothing like what you've seen for Guardians of the Galaxy. Like, if you put Guardians of the Galaxy poster right next to the Infinity War poster, they look like pretty much the same poster. These look very fresh and very creative. Kind of reminds me of like reading Rainbow. (laughs) Does it? It does. I don't know why. Reading Rainbow. (laughs) Look, it's in a book. That's right. It's a reading Rainbow, people. (laughs) Um, So, getting onto the trailer, kind of what we thought, Ralph. um, You obviously saw the trailer. Yeah. Your your, your general thoughts on what you saw? I don't know. I really didn't like that that last trailer. I think it was like too like um, I don't know too cheery. You know, it's where like the first. One, even the second one still had that kind of dark feel to it, like a mysterious kind of thing to it. And this one was just, it was too happy. I just was like, oh, it was corny. very, very lighthearted. Um, yeah. I personally loved that aspect of it. Like, I to see Carol Danvers, she's just so adorable in this trailer. I think she's just going to be this cute, fun character that everybody likes. Every time she does an eyebrow raise or, you know, when she's sitting at the bar with uh, Nick Fury and he's asking, you know, well, how do I know you're not a scroll? And she just blasts the, the, the jukebox over there, and then she just puts her hand on her chin. She's like, yeah, there you go. But is she supposed to be cute, or is she supposed to be a badass? Like, which one is it? I'm with Sean on this. Uh, I really think she should just smile more. Just, <laughs> she's supposed to be the savior of the universe, right? She's supposed to be the most powerful being to come in since Thanos, and this does not really portray that. So I'm not really sure what the direction here is. You see a couple really cool things in here, like the sculpt, the scroll transformation was yeah, awesome. Yeah, that was cool. Save it for the movie. Uh. I don't need to see this in a trailer. Save it. <laughs> I did like yeah, it I though. Agree. I liked the way they did the CGI with the skull, the scroll transformation. He sees the surfer girl and just ah, instantly morphs into her. You're Makes right. you wonder if I that's mean, painful. It looks like it hurt. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> it looked like it hurt quite a bit actually. Hmm. Now, do they have it like Transformers? Is it like Mystique, where like they can change it? at any moment or yeah. is it once they change they change I don't know no they can change as much as they want they're just a okay. race of shapeshifters oh, awesome I guess I don't know that much about scrolls. well on top of the trailer <laughs> uh, okay. sticking with the Captain Marvel news guys spoiler alert guys I didn't tell you I was going to spoil the movie for you while you were sitting at the table so it's ear, not earmuffs. really spoilerish it's well what fine. they did they did a, a critics <laughs> set visit where um, the studio invites a small handful of critics to come on the set they do some really uh, in-depth interviews and stuff it's a big big treat for critics to come do this well they did this last week and some spoilers for the plot of the movie we're going to kind of break them down for you real quick first little plot detail we're going to see in the movie is a big backstory of nick fury we're going to finally get to see kind of a little bit more of of, uh, where nick fury comes from sort of his backstory maybe how he loses his eye it's the cat (laughs) And the cat. It's the cat. The cat takes his eye, guaranteed. <laughs> yeah. So that, that's kind of exciting to see a little bit of uh, Nick Fury's Our backstory. <laughs> Maybe. All you fans of uh, Marvel Comics, though, you know the Kree Supreme Intelligence. 
Shauna, you know who the Kree Supreme Intelligence is? The big giant head. The big giant <laughs> head. The, uh, the uh, robotic giant head that the Kree used to make a cosmic cube way back in the 60s. The Kree Supreme way Intelligence is going to get, have an appearance in the movie. Excitement level 10? Zero? If it's Danny DeVito's head, 100% in. <laughs> that would be awesome. Or Brian Cranston, like on Power Rangers. Oh, could be. Could be. be nice. Maybe it's been done as Zordon. long as it's not like The Rock or John Cena who are in everything. <laughs> Danny DeVito is the right way to go with this. <laughs> Danny DeVito is the head in the jar. <laughs> um, the other big little plot detail they mentioned, uh, they mentioned two very, very crazy words in the world of fandom, secret invasion. What does that mean? People to you. When I say secret invasion, what do you think? Um, that means anybody throughout any of these movies could have been a scroll at any time. That's right. <laughs> exactly. The secret. Uh, the secret invasion comic books basically says. I mean, in in that comic book run, the scroll uh, took the sh- the form of some of our favorite comic book characters. So if they're going to try to do this into the secret invasion, it's quite possible that when we get into Avengers Endgame, some of our favorite heroes could actually have been scrolls the whole time. Hawkeye, what? anybody? Mind Don't you besmirch Hawkeye. <laughs> I'm not besmirching Hawkeye. <laughs> Don't you do it. But when I heard about the secret invasion thing, the first thing I thought was, well, in this new trailer, we saw a completely different looking Hawkeye. Maybe the Hawkeye we've seen up to this point was the scroll version of Hawkeye. Oh. But then where was he the entire time? Was he just off being Ronin somewhere? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> just okay. not checking his emails. <laughs> Scarlet yes. Witch could be one, you know? Yeah. I think Bucky Barnes is a perfect candidate for being a scroll. Because oh, he went away true. for a long time, showed up out of nowhere. That's Do you think that this is a, a good way for them to segue out some of these actors from these roles and bring in somebody that looks totally different and say, nobody really knew what Tony Stark looked like in right. the first place. Oh, this hasn't been Tony. They're just going to recast him and this is actually Tony Stark. <laughs> Probably the cheapest way to do it. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's an interesting theory. I don't know, guys. Let us know what you think in the comment section. Let us know what you think about the Captain Marvel trailer number three and whether or not you think you need to see a trailer number four coming out in February. You don't. Um,